Hey everyone, it's Jamie Pate and welcome to this video. Today I'm sharing with you, it's been a little while. Are you ready? Wait for it. Bam, 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 bam. Yep, it's a mini album. It has been a little while since I made a mini album. This is like a mini, mini album, like a mini, mini, mini album. Um, I'm going to show you today how to make it just super quick. Notice the outside, which I probably don't show in the video. It's just wrapped with Baker's twine. Okay. That's all just to kind of help it stay closed. Otherwise it sort of just stays open a little bit. It's a back to back binding. It's art walk. Um, just really a super small little book that I wanted to capture some photos of, um, my daughter and her friend recently, you know, time is ticking guys. I want to be a little more purposeful about capturing some of these moments. And even with the, my girl and her bestie, just wrap those up. These guys, they don't print photos. They don't print their photos, right? So I'll print them. I'll make pretty stuff and I'll give that away. And so maybe that's an encouragement to you, but here's a look at my process. So let's get started on what I'm going to call just a basic, simple art walk mini album. So to kind of define my process a little bit, something I like to do is gather supplies. Now this one is an assignment for American Crafts and Heidi Swap. So I knew it was going to be an art walk. So it's kind of easy, but do that for yourself too. Just pick maybe a collection and go with it. So I've gathered several things like the Art Walk 12 by 12 project pad. You've seen me talk about this before. And just for kicks, the six by eight pad, but I'm probably not going to use it because I want to do some back-to-back -back binding and the 12 by 12 papers will probably be more suitable, but we'll see. Um, I always have to have a sticker set like the six by 12 art walk stickers. Love the alphas. You're going to find those in there. But what's so great about the project pad is that you have two sets of alphabets in here as well. So remember that, um, postcards, I still have some art walk postcards left. So I think that'd be kind of fun to incorporate that in the pages. You're going to see here, my distressed, uh, stamps are pretty well loved and that's okay. I also have grabbed the pineapple crush mink stamps. I, I might be wanting to use those for the vibe of this particular mini album and these embossed tags. This is all I have left, but I think it's fun that I do have them and see if I can incorporate them. And then look, look how I have all my <laughs> definition stickers. They're just kind of uh, thrown in here because I like to cut them up and use them without taking the sticker backs off. So I've grabbed those as well. So let's get started on this mini album. One of the things that's making this fall into the category of a simple mini album is the fact that I'm not going to be using a chipboard for the cover. So it's not going to be a hard cover. It's going to be like a paperback, literally, right? So to just give that a little bit more foundation though, I'm going to use cardstock, a little bit heavier cardstock. This is, this is basil white texture, 12 by 12 cardstock. So it just has a little more tooth to it. And because the album is going to be five inches wide by six and a half inches tall, I want to then uh, cut my dimensions to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this six and a half tall. I'm going to come in here at five inches and give it a little bit of a score. Yeah, I really don't know what a little bit of a score is. It's going to have a score, full on score, right? Okay, so it has a score and then just bump it over just maybe about a quarter inch and give it, I don't even think I want that much. This is not going to be holding a lot of pages, but I want to be able to have a little room on the inside for the pages that are going to encompass the layouts inside the mini album. And then my score line, this last score line here is going to bump up against the five and a half and then trim that off. So then when this gets folded, go ahead and fold it. If you're following along and playing at home, I think I did five and a half and that needs to be five. So the front and back covers need to actually be five inches wide. I keep saying five and a half. So forgive me for doing that. I kind of went back and forth on what 
dimensions. I wanted this soft back paperback mini album. So that might be why I keep saying the five and a half. So I'm just gonna go in and trim that and then I'll have a five inch cover. I pulled two patterns from the six by eight paper because I really love these particular patterns. So I'm just gonna make them work even though the sizing is a little off. It'll, it'll be okay, I'm gonna speed this up. You're just gonna see I'm gonna wrap this around the spine and then add the back cover. Here we go. side pages we already know because of the height of the book is going to be six and a half. I'm not going to deviate from the height. However, because of some things I want to add into the book, some of the lengths of the pages are going to be a little different. So to start off, this first page is going to be five inches wide. So I'm going to go ahead and score this at five inches and you're going to see it's going to fit inside of the inside of the cover. And it looks like it cuts a little off. I'm just gonna have to trim some once I get it on the cover. So that's gonna fit in here like this, right? But this right here, I only want half an inch because I'm going to sandwich a piece of acetate. Actually, half an inch? Yeah, let's just go for half an inch. I'm going to sandwich acetate in between this first page, then we're gonna have acetate, and then our next page. So let me show you how that's gonna be done. have the kind of sandwiched acetate page right in between. This is a brand new acetate from scrapbook.com. So it's not, it's about six inches in height. And so it's, which is fine. I don't, I don't mind that it kind of uh, is shorter than the other pages, but it works out fine for me. So we're going to repeat this process with a full sheet here on the back. And it is going to cover this again, this six inch six and a half inch height, and then it'll be scored at the five. And then we're going to have, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna trim this page down and make it a little bit shorter, or if I'm going to make it a full page. I guess we'll find out.
Okay, so what I did here is I went ahead and did this five inch page and then I cut this one to three and a half. And so this lot, this next page, will be doing the same thing. It's gonna mirror this. This will be a three and a half, a fold, and then a five inch page. feel bad if you, if you need to trim up your edges once you've applied pages. I've made these back-to-back -back binding books for years and I'm still just not awesome at um, making my pages straight no matter how much I try. So you noticed here I left an opening for a little pocket and I actually need to go and trim that up a little bit. Uh, measurement has just never been my strong suit for I don't even know whatever reason. I, I almost think my Fisker's um, paper trimmer, it might have just been seen better days and might need to be replaced because I'm just, I, or I'm just trying to, you know, blame something other than myself as to, to why I can't cut very straight. All right, so let's just review real quick. We've got this great acetate page in the beginning. Um, Got this half page here. It's probably a little bit more than half actually, but it's fun with this little peekaboo part on that side. And then another full page. And we're gonna repeat that process a couple more times until we get to the end of the book. Feel free to repeat as many times as you like or stop there and make it super small. I only have about maybe two more pages I need to add to this until I feel like I can go ahead then and add it to its cover. So let's go. So I cheated a little bit. I used a double-sided piece of paper because I just wanted to kind of continue with this blue theme that I had going on in my book. Cut a three and a half inch side. And now for this last page, it is going to actually be part of, as I put this in here, um, I'll have another three and a half side, but then I'm gonna have another pattern paper side here. And then I'm probably going to be putting an envelope uh, using maybe like the envelope maker to, to set in here. So that'll basically finish up this book. So I went ahead and attached the inside cover to the outside cover. And again, this is still kind of a soft book, but once you get all the stuff inside, it'll kind of firm up a little bit more, I think. Acetate page, fun way to sandwich that in there. And then a three and a half inch page, full page. And I remember I left some space in here to make these little pockets and full page and then kind of double pocket page because I got this pocket page here, but then I added this envelope to the back. So not huge, just kind of little simple mini album. And if you stick around, we'll embellish it. <laughs> 